Hi, uh, this is Ron Porter again, and this is uh, my final video on using Google Classrooms and Google Forms uh, to uh, make your classroom uh, more efficient. And this final video is going to be on accessing data that you've collected through Google Forms. So the last uh, video, I showed you how to make a Google Form and attach it to your Google Classroom page. So now once we've done that, uh, how are we going to access the data that we collect from these assessments? So uh, once we've created Google Forms, um, you can see here I'm on the Google Forms page. Um, and if we, we have the start a new form section on the top that we use to create new forms. And then we could see below that, here are all the Google Forms that I've created and used. Um, and you can see here right at the top, there's a button that says owned by anyone. So these are going to be Google Forms that have been shared with me as well as those I've made. So if I'm going to get data, let's say I could click on that and I could say just the ones that are owned by me. And now I'm only going to see my Google Forms. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this uh, vocabulary quiz that I've called Flocabulary Unit 6. Um, so this is one that I've had my students take. And when I click on it, it says the questions. And here's, I could edit this. You know, I could add more questions. Or if I made a mistake, I could change it. Um, and you'll notice it says questions. And then right next to it, it says responses. And it says 51. I've had 51 different responses to this. So I, I link this to my Google Classroom page. The students took this Flocabulary Unit 6 quiz. Um, and uh, I have data for it now. So when I click on responses, um, it says underneath 51 responses, it says summary and individual. So this summary section is going to show me, um, you know, some data, uh, that I've collected. So it says insights, uh, the average here was, uh, 69.71%. So most of my students, uh, the average was just about a C, um, then there's the median and the range. Okay, and then I look and you can see uh, the different things. So you can see here there was zero and one. Uh, I think that was a couple students forgot to put their name on it uh, and started, uh, accidentally submitted it, started again. So really my students did better than a 70 on my quiz, thank goodness. Um, and um, it has the uh, different, um, you know, answers that most people gave and the percentage that chose the different question. Um, so. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get my individual responses. So if I click on individual, um, I will have my student's name. And you'll see here it says 85 out of 100 points. So this student right here got an 85 out of 100. So uh, again, this is, makes it super easy to score these. I did not have to grade this. Uh, all I have to do is now I've got 1 out of 55, and I can start clicking through to the next response. My next student, you know, zero out of 100. You see, this is one of the students that accidentally um, submitted and then he retook it. So I have another response for him. So I can either um, click through uh, and uh, on this button right here and collect my student data and enter it in, or this green button right here, view responses and sheets. If I click on that button right there, now I will get a spreadsheet. Here are the names of my students. And here's the score right there. And I can enter that um, right into my uh, grade book like that. So as you can see, um, you know, having a multiple choice quiz, uh, it really makes grading a snap. Uh, I don't have to print off any pages or anything like that. And uh, it really makes things much more efficient. Um, you know, I have all my grades by the time the students are finished. So this is really just a, a fantastic way to collect data uh, for your students. Now I'm going to go back to uh, Google Forms and I'm going to show you some other ideas about how I collected data. Um, so as I scroll down here, um, I've got, for example, companion book exit ticket. So again, uh, this is a way that, you know, when I click on this, Okay, um, I was doing a companion book. Students were, um, you know, creating a companion book and they were reading a book and then writing 
um, literary essays on different aspects of their book. Okay, so you can see I asked them for their name right here. Um, I asked them uh, title page and table of contents. I have a title page and a table of contents which tells the reader what chapters will follow and what they are about because I wanted the kids at this point to envision what chapters they were going to write, what the different, um, you know, whether they were going to write about theme, whether they were going to write about setting, um, and I wanted to see how many of these students were able to accomplish that in the class period. Um, then I was asking them to create a chapter. Chapter one, I have an introductory paragraph, three body paragraphs with text evidence, and a conclusion paragraph. Do you, have you completed that at that point? Um, what is your thesis for chapter one? So as you can see, this is uh, you know, a way that you can assess where your students are collected very quickly rather than walking around the room and you know, uh, looking in their notebooks or on the computers, on their different documents um, for what they uh, have accomplished at that point. So that would be an idea for an exit ticket. Now, I also use this for my do nows, uh, and I'm sure most people have a, you know, uh, something where they get to work right away. So this is another great idea that you can do um, to have kids um, get to work right away. And right here, I've got a, a do now that I created called a positives. So we did a grammar lesson on a positives, uh, a noun phrase that describes a noun. Um, and this is how I assess uh, their learning on the a positive lesson. So you can see there, I asked them for their name. What is an appositive? This was a multiple choice. Uh, what is the appositive in this sentence? Again, multiple choice. And then finally, I asked them to. So when I go to my responses here, okay, and I click on their individual responses, uh, I would have their name. I can see the student got one of two points, so they got one of their multiple choice rights. And then a short answer where I asked them to create their own appositive. Uh, so in this one, you know, obviously uh, they were, you know, I got a score, but then I had a short answer that I had to read to make sure that the student did or did not do it correctly. Okay. So obviously, you know, we can make a, an all multiple choice assessment, uh, you know, obviously for math or science, that might be a little bit easier, you know, for language arts or social studies, when you're trying to assess their ideas, you might have them do something like this, which is a short answer or a long answer that you're going to then actually grade. Okay, so at this point, uh, uh, what I'd like you to do is to um, go to one of the uh, Google Sheets, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, one of the Google Forms that you've created. Um, you can link it to your own page, and then you can take uh, the assessment that you created, and then go to um, the responses so that you can see... Uh, you know, we go to questions and responses, go to the responses and uh, see what you've done. See if you can download one of these spreadsheets um, and see how well your uh, Google form works. Okay. And um, again, once you're finished with that, please uh, do the exit ticket on this training. Um, if there are questions that you have about any of these videos, uh, you can uh, please put them on the exit ticket. Um, and if there's any features that you found out about Google Classroom or Google Forms that you don't think was covered that you would like to see about, please let me know about that as well. Hope you've enjoyed these uh, training videos and I hope this has helped you uh, with uh, this technology and using it in your classrooms. And uh, again, any um, questions or comments that you have, please leave it on this final exit ticket and I hope you enjoyed these videos. Thanks and have a great day.